Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a very wonderful app to you. This app is called the iTerm Tooth in Mac OS. Uh, just imagine if you are a Windows user. Assume you are a Windows user. In Windows, if you want to remote connect to a, a Linux server, assume there is a Linux server here, here and you may use the tablet or you may use the SSH to remote tablet to connect to the remote server. Or assume you, you, you have a file, a large file, you want to copy it from your Windows machine to the Linux server or you want to download a file from a Linux server to a, a window in the PC, you may use the SCP. So you will have a lot of tools in Windows you can you can choose, such as maybe you can use the putty and then the putty you can use the tablet and SSH. Or if you want to use the SCP, you have a tool is called the Win SCP, which is also a very good application to use to copy the file from your local machines to the remote server or even a worthwhile. However, you may encounter a problem in Mac OS. So today I'm going to share a very wonderful app to you that I used to use. It's called the iTerm Tools. And this is the official website of the iTerm Tools and you can just download and install the iTerm Tools in your Mac OS. Once the download is completed, you can run the application. And then there is a very tricky thing that I want to share to you is once you, the download is completed, you can just select this the top uh, left upper corner and then there is a button, a selection called e install the shell integration. Because if you want to use the SCP function, in the, if you want to run the SCP in the item queue, you need to have installed the shell integration. So you just click it and then just click the continuous and then run and, the, and then install and then run the installer. And then oh, of course this is the continuous. So just a few seconds. After a few seconds, the installation will complete. So let's try. Assume I have a uh, device, a Linux machine. The IP address is 10.0.0.190. So now I will use the icon to here and then SSH uh, root at 10.0.0.190. And then the password is E. Okay, once I log in, it's successful. I use the command is change directory to the ten location, and you will see there is nothing here. Okay, assume I want to upload a file in this directory. What should I do? You should use your fingers. Yeah, because uh, if you want to use the SCP function, you need to use your finger to press the option function in the Mac OS, and then take and drop the file into this uh, app item too. So assume now I have a, a application is called um, the item two dots uh, zip. Okay. So I press the option button and then click uh, the image and then to this box. As I, as you can see here, you, you will have some. Uh, it, as you can see in this screen, there is some notification saying that okay, root as ten dot zero dot zero dot one nine zero colon slash ten and then just release it and then. You will say uh, OK to the SCP and then of course I will click the OK button and then I input the password OK. And you will see there is an upload here and then the status is uploading. OK, just a few seconds and then to wait for the upload to complete. OK, and then we RS. OK, now you will see that there is a, the image has already uploaded successfully. So this is how we can use the SCP to upload the uh, file via the item too. And then, first of all, if you want to download this application, how should I do? Very easy. Just double click, just highlight, and then right click. In the right selection, you will see there is a the, the indicator that download with the SCP from 10.0.0 and uh, 0 uh, 190. So just click it, and then input the password EVD. Okay, you see there is a download uh, status bar here and then we are downloading to download file. However, this SCP has a very cheeky things that you need to do is related to the host name. Because in this Linux machine, I just use the host name. Okay, as you can see, the host name is the IP address 10.0.0 and 190. However, if I just change this host name instead of the IP address, let's say I change the host name is using my host name, CTL, and uh, set host name. Okay, I assume it's trial 1. Okay, I change the host name to trial 1, and then I type the host name again. You see, now the host name is trial. Okay, I just quit uh, this FH. And then we log in again. If 
Okay, and then we can check the host name. You see now the host name is changing to trial one. However, if you want to download the file again, it will fail. Okay, highlight, right click. You will see the download from SCP is from trial one, and then because my MacBook didn't know what is trial one, so obviously the download will unsuccessful, and I cannot download the image. So, uh, if you want to use the SCP uh, function in the uh, item tools. So please make sure your macOS understand the host name or you just change the host name of uh, your remote Linux server. So now I will change back the change back the host name. Use the command host name CTL and then set the host name. Okay, it's 10.0.0.190. Okay, and then I click the trial one. Okay, not in the game, EV if MG. Okay, change the to team. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, just hide it. Okay, I just double click and hide. Okay, right you will see there's a the 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 there is a selection. As you can so now you can see there is a selection is download with SCP from candle So I just click it here and then okay. The dance will be fine. Okay, that's all for my today's sharing. Hope you enjoy and use this item to on your daily life and also your work.